All right, so yesterday, some bombshell claims made by Jaleel White. You know him as TV Steve Urkel. He joined us on yeah. the show to talk about Kobe Bryant and that whole slam poetry reading about Family Matters. And during that segment, he made a claim. He basically said there were secret pickup games at UCLA back in the day when Kobe Bryant was only a teenager, and he was smoking guys, some of the best players in the country. Here's what Jaleel White had to say. Take a look. So he used to hang out at UCLA a lot, and I would watch him play our UCLA basketball team at the time and I'm telling you probably the greatest pickup games I've ever seen in my life I, I watched him destroy young men's dreams at 17 <laughs> and we had just won a 95 championship that year so we had a lot of guys on the team that were pretty cocky he, he, he wanted to just like on anybody who thought they could play basketball right. in the city and, and that's what he did. So you said it was the 95 championship team, so I got to ask, was it Toby Bailey, uh, Charles O'Bannon, Cameron Dollar, <laughs> Tyus <laughs> All right, so that was a claim that Jaleel White made, and we decided to do a little digging on this because you can't just say something like that, like a 17-year-old Kobe Bryant was crushing these guys. So, Babcock, you went out and spoke to somebody, didn't you? Yeah, I spoke to Jelani McCoy, who was one of the best players on the UCLA team. He was actually a freshman when Kobe came to L.A., and, and Jelani was just such a great player on that team. So, so if anybody would know if this is true or not, it'd be he Jelani was there. He would be right yes. there. He right. played well, in good these news, games. Good news, everybody, because Jelani's about to join us right here on TMZ Sports. Jelani, how you doing, man? I'm doing fantastic. How you guys doing? I'm doing real great. well. So you I, heard... I, can I ask Jelani a question real quick? Yeah. Jelani, have you, have you recovered from the way Kobe used to be busting your ass <laughs> back in the day? Mm, I'm, uh, you know, the Time Heals All Wounds. Time Heals All Wounds. <laughs> <laughs> Jelani, is you this, this I mean? true? This all true is what Jaleel said accurate. Man, what Jaleel is painting a perfect picture of what happened in these wow. series. Right? Really? Oh. We're talking about NBA All Stars coming in, in in the gym. You know what? During our '95 year, we're talking Sean Kemp, Anthony Hardaway, Shaquille O'Neal, and their prime. We're talking Skinny Penny, Skinny Penny with bounce and all the dimes, with Little Penny <laughs> on the side. Uh, we're talking Toby Bailey, fresh off the national championship, 26 and nine. J.R. Henderson. We're talking legit basketball, and in walks in this kid from Philly with, you know what I'm saying, swagger on a trillion. And I don't even like using the word swagger, but his with his can be definitely be considered swagger. So everything he said is, is true. He absolutely came in there and dominated every aspect of basketball. Have you seen anybody that had that kind of talent that Kobe had at 17 years old since then? I mean, because you saw it up close and personal. He yeah. was 17. He was in your gym. You've been playing in the pros. You've been playing top-tier basketball with some of the best players in the world for most of your life. <laughs> Have you seen yeah. anybody that has that had Kobe's talent at that age uh, ever? I can't say that man because it was the mental it was the one to learn it was the stealing moves on the spot and using them against you right away like you know if he saw something you used that he can incorporate in his game and you use it on him like in the next couple of trips down the court he using it on you and we're talking about at the time we're talking about a high a college all-american some of the best prep stars and like i said some of the top stars in the nba so you can tell that mamba mentality thing was no joke that thing was there you know what i'm saying the minute he walked into Los Angeles, his mind was made up that he wanted to be the best basketball player in the city, period, regardless of AAU, 17, 18, 19, 25, Magic Johnson, didn't matter. He wanted that spot. Doesn't it, wow. doesn't this get you excited Crazy. about sports? It does. Isn't this what makes sports great? Like, you yeah. see kids like that, 17 years old, with talent, that get in there with the drive like that. I, I want to know, is, is, is <laughs> was there anybody that you can remember him actually struggling against? Like who took it to Kobe? Yeah. You know what? You know what? I'll give you. I'll give you somebody. Not on that. Not on that. UC, uh, that, that UCLA national championship team. But that's somebody who used to go back and forth, which was a great deal to watch. And spirits of person was Ricky Davis and Kobe Bryant. What? Really? Really? Ricky really? Davis, the Ricky Davis Kobe Bryant matchup was ridiculous. Because Ricky Davis, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, Ricky was 17, 18 before he came out to the pros in Iowa. So he was around that same age. We all had the same age as me, Ricky, uh, Kobe. We were all with Arn Tellum, Bob Myers. This was for Bob Myers, the GM of the Warriors' first uh, first job in the industry. So it was just a good time. It was the pinnacle of West Coast basketball. Not the pinnacle, but it was definitely a high point for West Coast basketball. But that matchup right there, that was no back down from nothing. I sprint faster than you back on defense. I don't let you go anywhere you want to. The trash talk, I, we don't even talk about this. like...
the the kids like uh it will make some kids nervous or parents nervous or people who don't play sports to be in the gym just to hear the level of trash talk and bravado <laughs> that was being going on you know it was that great. kg talk you know it was that kg talk it was a lot of there was a lot of unsavory words <laughs> used, you know what I mean? And, and, <laughs> in a closed, controlled setting, you know, with a lot of alpha males. So it was just like, man, it was just like, and that was around the same time. You got to remember, Michael Jordan was filming Space Jam in 95. So also the UCLA basketball team got to go over to the Warner Brothers studio and play with Mike oh, whenever cool. he did from filming so we went from there to that run so it was just it was it was a crazy time and you couldn't have had a better player for that time than Kobe Bryant he wow. soaked up everything in that and, and used that to what he is now you know which is one of the greatest not if not the greatest player of all time John this has been one of my favorite it's segments so seriously like, this, this has been absolutely fantastic <laughs> man I'm loving it too I'm glad somebody I'm glad Jaleel spoke it up man because somebody <laughs> needs to know people have no idea it was the games in there were better than some of the NBA playoff series that were going on at the same time. Wow. I remember, wow. I remember the following year when Baron, the year when Baron Davis came, when we had those same runs, we went undefeated for like a week with a team featuring me, Baron Davis, Chris Johnson, J.R. Henderson, Toby Bailey. We went undefeated for a week. And I remember Jay Rose storming out of the gym, picking up his shoes and slamming them on the floor and was like, if y'all don't win a national championship this year, this is... <laughs> just, just, just going out of the gym. So that's the level we're talking about. Oh, you know what I'm saying? My I, feel, God. I feel privileged to have been around and experienced that because, you know, that stuff stays in your soul and your DNA, man. A lot of kids don't get to experience stuff like that. They think they do with some of the access to provide it. You know what I'm saying? The league is doing a great job of providing access to what goes on behind the scenes. But being there in, in that environment with no cameras, when nobody's doing it for cameras, before the gram, before posting, before tweeting and all that, like you had to run home. If something happened, you had to run to the dorm room or go to the phone and go call somebody. <laughs> so maybe you were the father and had the cell phone, but you know what I'm saying? It was a different time. If you like what you just saw, videos, great stories, and crazy photos, we've got more like it every single night on TMZ Sports on FS1.